Guys, since this is like a vertical game, how many emulators can I fit for rerolling? So if I did that in half, one, two, three, four, five. Hi, welcome to a World Flipper video. My name is Lace and today we're gonna be doing a reroll guide on World Flipper. I've been watching this game for a while ever since it released from Japan because I'm a big side game simp. And to be honest, this is probably like one of the more innovative games on the market. This is a freaking pinball game. However, we can save all that for the beginner guide or the introduction or whatever introductory video that is gonna come next. And so so with that being said, I do want to set the expectation that I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with this game World Flipper. Me personally, I do know what comes after. I do know that there is like some a high degree of grind that is required to upkeep this game. And so guys, I do want to set that expectation with you guys. Like I am in this for a good time, a short time, but a good time. It kind of like reminds you of some other services. And so if you guys are interested, honeymoon with me, I swear to you, I will make good content as long as I am making content. But again, there will come a day quite soon where I will drop the game because I have had my fun. And so yeah, I just want to be completely honest with you guys. However, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get this reroll guide on the track. All right, boys. So as you can see, I've got two World Flipper instances. I will be using LD multiplayer for this reroll guide. Okay, and so let's get into the rerolling itself. And I'm gonna show you guys how to reset because this is actually a really, really reroll friendly game. So let's get back into World Flipper itself. And let me just prove to you that like the synchronized instances does work for this, like all of this reroll, like this method, this is gonna work. All right, so first of all, if you do have multiple instances going on, you wanna click this button over here sync so this guy over here you want to select that checkbox and then click start syncing however i've already clicked it and it is so it is syncing all right so let's get back to it we're going to click start so this is just going to be a speed run right okay let's go guest log in do you want to log in as a guest okay and then we're going to keep going and there's going to be a lot of skipping my guys there's going to be a lot of skipping however that's really good again like this is from my point of view i think this is good because games that support like um that support the resemara or like Okay, that's not good. Um, I will download, we'll continue. Okay, I'll hit that one. Hopefully, ah, okay. And so guys, I will see you guys again when both of them have reached 100% download. All right, guys, I am back. So I've just been reading around the discords and stuff and apparently they got rid of the two minute reroll. And so we might have to do a couple of dank things in this tutorial. However, let's keep speed running up until the end until we like need to reset our accounts. And so over here, we've got, have you already played the tutorial? Yes, we have. Would you like to skip? Yes, we do want to skip that. And so we're gonna hit okay. And then um, next, 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 next. <laughs> oh crap. You guys have already seen like how this sync instance thing works. So I'm just going to go through with one emulator. It's just going to be faster. And so I'm just going to close down this instance for now. And so let's just focus on one. Let's just get one working first. All right, exit LD player. And so I'm going to hit world flipper. However, I suspect world flipper is actually going to detect the root and it's going to tell me, no, we're not allowed to play the game. I, I do believe a couple of other um, a lot other games, especially by side games or Nintendo, they actually have like root detection and they don't like it. So if I try looking in the game, hopefully this is going to work. And so it looks like I've gotten the error. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we can get past that error by disabling the root. Okay, so I'm just going to restart again. And hopefully we are going to be able to get past that error without root. So this is an instance with no root with just world flipper. Okay, let's give it a shot. Tap to start. Hopefully it's going to download and it's not going to throw us that Korean error. <laughs> yep, so there we go. If you guys are getting that Korean looking error, then go turn off your root on your emulator. I've rerolled on so many games. That's just like by experience. It's actually kind of weird, right? Anyway, I'm just going to hit OK. I'm just going to go speed run through all of this. So again, uh, skip through all of that how to play. Next, next, next. And then uh, enter a nickname and we're actually almost going to be there. Uh, OK. And here we go. We're actually already there. So this guy over here, we're always going to get a four star, if I remember correctly. I don't think it's rigged towards a particular four star, but we're going to get a four star. So let's skip this guy over here. And we've got a, oh, cute. I can barely make out what it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? Dude, this is a five-star Belsidia. Okay, very nice. Very, very freaking nice. And so what I'm wondering is that if they rigged this one to be a guaranteed five-star because like they did apparently change out some of the features. Okay, so before you set out on adventure, uh, let's go back to portals. I think this is where we actually, yep. So we get the Arisa as well as the 1.5K. And so with this 1.5K, we are actually going to be able to do another tenner. Look at Arisa. She's so cute. To be honest, she's half the reason that I'm playing this game. <laughs> like, yeah. All right, Arisa, let's freaking go. So she is from Shadowverse for any other the side game simps out there uh okay so this is it we're actually here now the wheels have been set in motion okay no i want to pull okay let's do our tenor we're gonna pull and then let's see what we get and it's probably going to be trash uh or skip whoa let's go another five star that's two five stars already 
Okay, support world flipper later. Let's do that later. And so originally this game actually had a two minute reroll where you could hit the menu button and there was a button down here. I believe it was an account info and you could actually unregister the game. However, when you click this, it's got 24 hours of unregistration. And so what that means is that they've kind of locked out the reroll from this button in the JP version or in TW, you could actually get instant unregistration. And so guys, this is where it's gonna get really dank. So I'm just gonna close that off and hit okay. And then from here, I believe actually there might be a few more things in the, um, a few more rolls to you. So let me try check my mail. Um, I'm gonna see if we can actually get there. All right, let's go to the mail and let's have a look. There should be like even more. Okay, here we go. All right, pre-registration bonus. So I believe this leads up to a 40, no 30, about 35 rolls. I think so open all, open all claim. And then we're gonna do more rolls. Okay, connecting, connecting, connecting. I think the servers are like overloading. There's probably a lot of people re-rolling right now. So let's hit the portal again. And we've got another, yeah. So in total, that's gonna be 35 re-rolls. Okay, so we pull again. Again, and let's pray for something good you know let's pray for something good if i get something good i'm not going to reroll and so this guide actually just dies let's keep going and then uh, i'll just show you guys the out oh my god we got fidia five stars she is probably the best wind healer one of the reroll targets however the reroll that you do want is her with silty and so if you guys don't get that I mean, we'll talk about that very, very soon. What is this? Is this a another one? What the frick? We're getting a crazy amount of five stars here. Like, what is the rates on this? Like, I think this is just a Luxac account. I think this is, yeah, I think this is a Luxac account, okay? So let me return the portals and then let's have a look at the rates first real quick. Oh my gosh, it's a 5% five star rate. Holy crap, okay, 5% rates, that's that's freaking lit. It's, it's a login gala, I mean, sorry, it's a launch gala. And I believe we also have this guy over here. So let's just pull this one, one, four or five star and let's see what we get real quick. <laughs> All right, so I think we're finally done. And so obviously that's not exactly what you want. So we're going to go home and then we're going to, we want to go into file manager, but to get into the file manager, we're going to actually need roots. So we're going to go into settings. We're going to go enable root, save, and then we're going to restart. And then we're going to get into the settings and then we're going to delete the shared prefs and then come back, unroot. Oh man, this is actually quite a process. Okay, so we are now in a rooted instance. World Flipper is not going to work. We're going to go in, we're going to go into file manager and then we're going to go into um, this, I think it's data and then data again. Yep, data again. And then we're going to look for our instance. So com, this one, Kakao Games, WDFP. So that is for World Flipper. Then we've got the shared prefs. Here we go. <laughs> uh, old mate shared prefs. You're always going to be here, huh? All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go in hold click that one and then delete that oh wait no 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 that's not right that's the wrong one it's this one down here so we're going to delete shared prefs here we're going to delete that yes and so that's gone i'm going to go home well i didn't need to go home but i need to go back to the menu go to settings other settings and then turn off the root permission save and then restart now and then so what should happen now is that the data has cleared from the world flipper game but we don't well, we shouldn't technically need to re-download the cache data. So if you guys remember, there was that two gigabyte download. Hopefully we don't need to do that. And so I'm going to go into World Flipper and hopefully what's going to happen is we're going to get a brand new fresh instance and we're going to be able to just re-roll again. Uh, but as you saw, like that re-roll was quite fast. Like the process to get through to getting the jammies and actually rolling, it is still technically about two minutes. It's just that there's no built-in button to actually do it now. So let's, oh, uh, okay. So tap to start, guest login. Uh, do you want to log in as guests? Okay. Yes. And I think, I think it's actually worked now guys. So yeah, I remember all of this. This was, this is pretty much identical to what was happening before. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it looks like they did get rid of rerolling. However, they're not going to stop people like me. Like freak, I'm going to have like probably like 10 instances going and then we'll see what we get. And so guys, you've already seen this before. Have you already played the tutorial? Yes. And then would you like to skip it? Yes. Again. And then we can hit okay. And then we're going to go. And so we're going to go do the roll. And then if we don't get what we want, we're going to go back out again. Remember we leave and then we turn on the root, turn on the root permission. After we've got the root permission, we're going to hit restart. And then after it's restarted, we're going to go in, into the file manager, into the file path. Again, I'll show you guys. Um, okay. It's not here, but like I'll, I'll drop this above. So it's data, data, 
and then com.cacaogames.worldflipper or WDFP. And then it's a shared prefs folder. And then you want to delete the shared prefs folder. And then you want to leave file manager, unroot yourself, and then go back into the game. And that's where we are now. Uh, that's that's really good. It's very good that something has worked. Okay, I think this is great. So if you guys are on blue stacks, like um, blue stacks, you guys are gonna need BS Tweaker. Honestly, um, at this point, I would make a BS Tweaker guide. Uh, if you guys do watch one of my other reroll videos, I, I think maybe Punishing Grey Raven or like Alchemy Stars, you'll probably find one of the, oh no. Anyway, yeah, if you look at my Punishing Great Raven or Alchemy Stars like videos, if you look for like the Blue Stacks Tweaker or the Blue Stacks Rerolls guides, like I guarantee you they're gonna work. It's pretty much doing the exact same thing that I'm doing here, except like you're enabling root with the third party program. However, to be honest, if you wanna keep it simple guys, just like do it on LD Player, like LD Player, it's got a like, freaking built in button for root. And so if you guys are interested in using LD Player for this, do go down into the description or the comments below and you will see that there is a link for you. And that's just an affiliate link like that might actually help me out and so like I would appreciate you guys using it but otherwise that is the reroll process in a nutshell and so let's move on next to the tier list or like the reroll targets right all right guys welcome to the tier list for the reroll guides so let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see a bit better and so massive shout out to underlight I thought this was written by pcam but like it, lo it looks like it's underlight and so essentially we have this tier list over here so let me just dismiss these guys so okay we have a whole bunch of these characters over here however as always you kind of need to have a little bit of context for like the tier lists and so you guys can like look at every one of these characters and look at like where they correspond so for example this guy i believe is uh this dude over here veron is an s tier he gives the penetration buff and has all this stuff like all of the context is over here i will link this document down in the description below and so coming back up over here um so just the tldr okay this is a really good one and so what i do want to say is that because the launch gala is active we've got the five percent five star rates right and so what i would recommend is that you at least get like some kind of pairing of two elemental characters one from s or one from a and the other one from a or s something like that right or even b so for example in my opinion most people's target rerolls is probably going to be the pair of these two so it's philia and uh, celti and the reason is because philia is like one of the top tier healers and i believe she still is the top tier healer like for wind even at like the jp state of the game on the other hand you have celti who has a really really broken skill so we've got uh okay she's silty but really celti but essentially this sentence over here describes everything this is because her skill scales infinitely off combo count making her potentially do infinite damage and so what this is saying is that if you are are able to maintain combo if you are able to actually like get that combo count up 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 you will be doing more and more damage and it is scaling infinitely so like there is no cap on it what you are going to quickly realize is that if you look at the other units like some of the other units they actually have a lot of like skills with caps on them however silty does not have that right and so that's what makes silty so freaking broken however silty is more of like a mid-game long-term investment kind of thing like she's not like immediately like 100 crazy broken she does need some level of support and those characters do get added along the way and so like while she is really strong now she gets even stronger later that's pretty much a tldr and so in my opinion if you are going to reroll for anybody i think like the target reroll the best reroll is probably the win team silty and fidia however if you were to settle for just one of the s tiers i wouldn't blame you because like rerolling can be such a pain so i'm talking any one of these three s tiers so we've got veron we've got a result and we've got uh not philia we've got silty right and so the really good thing about the other two s tiers is that they are dark and light respectively and we already know how dark and light units go in elemental games right in a way it's kind of like the neutral element to all of the other elements and so that makes them just like really really freaking solid but for these two characters in particular it's also their skills right so if we go down to veron you'll see that he actually gets a penetration skill and so penetration is really interesting because penetration in this game is not like magic penetration or like armor penetration it's not like defense down it's not like we're doing more damage it's more that we're gonna go through things, right? And so from like a pinball point of view, like you're kind of going through things like with this penetration buff. But on top of that, as it says down here, penetration is meta early on in World Flipper for basically every team because the best weapon on release is Malt, which requires penetration to be active. And so naturally that just makes him really freaking strong if he can use the best weapon as well, right? Him holding the key to actually activate it and him being like a dark type, like there's just nothing bad about this guy. And so if it were me, I'd probably go with like a Veron plus Belsidia just cause like waifu, you know what I'm saying? 
saying? But realistically speaking, I would go for like any of the S or A ranks plus one more of the five stars. It's launch gala. It's 5% for five stars. It is so freaking easy to reroll if you do follow the method. And so yeah, there's my take on the tier list. Like again, of course there is context. You're going to be building mono teams. So it's in your best interest to get like a pairing. You could go for like the fire units. Like Clarice is super cute. Get her and pair with somebody else. But like, again, I think that the most broken and the most like long-term investable units are going to be these two over here. It is going to be your Celti and your Philia. And so with that being said, there's nothing left to be said because like we've actually covered a lot in this video. And so let's wrap it up. I've got a secret message for you guys and that is shared prefs because shared prefs once again is the savior to reroll. And without saved prefs, we would not be able to do any of this, right? And so if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow you already know what it is. And remember guys, I do want to set the expectation again. I'm probably in it for the short term. If it turns out to be really fun, like, like I know it to be, then I may pick it up to be like a more regular thing. But like, again, please don't expect this to be a really long term thing. And whilst I may not be in the world flipper scene for very long, again, I will bring you guys the quality content. And of course, next comes the beginner's guide. So I'll see you guys very soon anyway. But otherwise, as your girl Sharon over here once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.